I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. Did not chat with y'all at all yesterday because I worked all day yesterday. I didn't cook yesterday. Um, we just had leftover collard green gumbo and I worked. I didn't go anywhere. I had a couple of Zoom meetings. I met with a couple of life coaching clients, but yeah, it was just a productive work day, jam-packed work day. Not much to vlog about. However, this box came yesterday, this box right here, and I wanted to wait until y'all got back to open it. And so this box is from Target. So let me explain how this came about. So you know I bought the two-piece glitter pantsuit deal that I am going to wear to the sneaker ball. And this hair is driving me crazy. Um, to the sneaker ball. And the next day, Target put all women's apparel on sale for 30% off. So when I saw that, I'm like, oh, well, I need to return this and just rebuy it because 30% is a nice little chunk of change off of this outfit and I had also bought that long denim dress at the same time so I'm like okay let me return these so when I went to look at my receipt I also noticed that the young man who checked me out in Target had charged me for the glitter trousers twice so the blazer was on there once and the trousers were on there twice so I'm like okay let me call the 1-800 number and I spoke with a young lady and she said, well, it's been 24 hours since your purchase. And it was like only 24 hours by like two hours. But she said, yeah, we have the timestamp on your receipt. It's been 24 hours since your purchase. So we cannot refund you for the double charge because you have to bring it to our attention within 24 hours. However, we can provide you with a Target gift card for the amount that you paid for the pants. So I'm like, whatever Target, I see you. You gonna make sure that that money stays with you somehow. But in the grand scheme of things, I know I'm gonna be shopping at Target anyway again. So I went ahead and accepted it, but really it was the next day, 24 hours, come on now. And it, it wasn't my mistake. Not that I couldn't have bought two pair of pants, but what are the chances of me buying a blazer and two pair of the same pants in the same size? But whatever, you know, you, you got me. But that's how this box came about. I used the gift card. However, the other piece of it with the items now being 30% off, she did go ahead and adjust the price as well. So I got full price back for the pants and then she adjusted the price. Um, well, no, not for the pants. I'm sorry. I'm going to take those back to the store with the receipt. But because I bought the dress, online because I just picked that up that day. I didn't buy it in the store that day. She adjusted that price and refunded me the $15 that would have been the 30% off. So I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but that's what happened. So the moral of the story is check your receipts immediately because Target and I don't know what other stores um, do not want to give you your money back even if that was their mistake if you don't bring it to their attention within 24 hours I have not had that happen with other stores, but that's Target's rules and Also, if something goes on sale and she didn't give me a time frame for that But they did adjust the price. So anyway, these are the things that I bought with the gift card because the gift card was um, an electronic gift card and I just decided to spend it right away because it'll get lost in my email. You know, whatever. And plus, I want to buy stuff, so why not? So let's see what we got. And it's a big old box. But, ugh, am I showing my address? I hate when I do that, y'all. Ugh, ugh. I'm going to cut that part off. Alright, so it's a big old box, but it's not tons of stuff, not big old stuff. But I did get some wrapping paper, so I'm sure that's why the box is so big. Ugh. I'm making a mess. Let's set this over here. <laughs> I need a production crew, y'all. I need somebody to help me make this make sense. Okay, so the first thing I got, which is ridiculous, is 
Y'all remember I got these in Birkenstock. Took them on my cruise. First and only time I ever wore them. They never made it home. However, these are the Target brand that were $10 plus I got 30% off. So I think they cost like $7.20, something like that. They're the same exact shoe, y'all. I don't see, I mean, even the bottoms. I don't see any difference. The same weight. Let me see how they fit. And I'm kind of mad at myself because I realize how we are, they feel exactly the same. How we're just so drawn to name brands. Now, don't get me wrong. I was just telling Wallace um, the other day, I got our granddaughters some little Juicy Couture, Juicy Couture um, pajamas for Christmas. And they came in and they just feel so soft, so luxurious. Just like they don't feel like Walmart pajamas. Like there's definitely a difference in quality. And I got them on clearance um, on QVC for like, I don't know, next to nothing, but really good quality. But I still didn't spend a whole lot because, of course, who's going to spend a ton of money for clothes for a three and four year old that they can only fit for two weeks? But Anyway, the quality was there. And so I was telling Wallace, it's funny how certain things, you definitely see the value in putting your money into the labels. Like I remember when my boys were young, they were so big into Abercrombie and Fitch and whatever that other one was. And at first I'm like, I'm not spending $30 for a t-shirt. But when I went to the store, felt the quality, bought a couple, saw how they washed and wore, I got it. But then there's other things we're literally just paying for the name. And these are one of them. These are no different than the Birkenstock ones at all. And full price, $10, come on. So we gotta do better. At least I gotta do better. I need to pay attention. When I'm paying for the quality and there's a big difference, I'm all for that. But just paying for the name, it ain't worth it because these probably came off the same exact assembly line as the Birkenstocks do. They just don't have Birkenstock stamped right here. So I know better. I know better. But I replaced them because I was very hesitant in replacing them. Not hesitant, but I felt like, do I want to replace them with the Birkenstocks and spend $50 again? And so I kept putting it off, putting it off, and saw these. So there you have it. All right, y'all know how Target be showing out with the representation. So I picked up some more of the wrapping paper with our faces on it. So I got this one with the black Santa and then it has the penguins and the polar bear. And then this one just has like family, you know, the little kids, and then you have the adults on here. I hope y'all can see it, but just super cute little couple right here. So I'm just loving all the representation with Target. So I'm, yeah, they're going to get my money every single time. And then this one, you know, just with the little kids. So I use some of the wrapping paper for the babies, the grandkids, and some for the adults. But yeah, so I got these, and I think these were like $5 a roll, and they're 25 square foot. So yeah, what's it called? Black Paper Party. Oh, that's cute. Oh, well, this one is black by Black Paper Party, and this one is by Black Paper Party, and this one is by Wonder Shop. And I'll leave the links, or I'll try to remember to leave the links. And then I got this, y'all. I love the Afro Unicorn. So one of the grandbabies has a birthday coming up this month. So I'm getting her. Like that's the only time when I get them different stuff is on their birthday. Because Christmas or whatever or Valentine's, I always get them the same thing. But on their birthday, of course, they get their individual stuff. So I got my little button. Look how cute that is. The Afro Unicorn. Isn't that adorable, y'all? So cute. And then I just got her some little little leggings oops out a sticker some little leggings to go with it what size are these oh i thought i said 3t because i need a 5t so some little leggings so she has a cute little outfit for part of her birthday present and then i just picked up a couple of ornaments the little brown elf on a shelf he is cute 
the little brown gnome. And I think these were like three and five dollars. And then this is the last one. I think this is a Santa. This one is glass though, so they wrapped it nice. Let's hope they wrapped it nice. Yeah, he seems to be all intact. Oh, his little fur. That just looks like, um, what do they call these? A pipe cleaner. I need to glue that down. It's a little loose. But isn't that cute? And his outfit is sequin. Y'all see that? Disco Santa. But super cute. And how much was he? $5. So yeah, the, these that were made out of the like felt, they must have been 3 yeah, three dollars for these, and then the glass is five. So yeah, that's what I spent. I had a thirty-five dollar gift card. I think I had to add like seven dollars to it with all of this stuff. So not a lot, and nothing that I didn't like need. Um, so I just decided let me just use that gift card. But this is a lot of stuff for forty bucks. It's three things of wrapping paper, three ornaments, a whole outfit for the baby girl, and a pair of shoes. So I'm winning, and it was basically i can't say free it wasn't free because they owed me 35 dollars, so it wasn't free but it's stuff i would have bought anyway so i don't mind but yeah y'all check your receipts but this is so cute i love this love 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 it and that's what it's called too afro unicorn that's the name of the brand love 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 it the tights aren't by them it didn't come with the leggings. I bought them separately, but makes a cute little outfit. But anyway, y'all, so that is it for Target. Um, my cohort ended last week, so we have our final little hurrah tonight. So it'll be the first time I'm meeting um, most of the ladies in person. Or have I met almost half of them? I don't know, but I, there's quite a few that I have not yet met in person. So but we'll be getting together this evening for kind of a closing ceremony, closing presentations. We're going to um, talk about what our individual teams worked on with the companies that we were supporting um, and what uh, where we are with those visions. I worked with her, her Texas, as I told you, in working on um, a national model for that company. So we'll be presenting that this evening. Wallace is coming with me as my plus one. So I'll get him to get some of our presentation on camera so I can share that with y'all. But yeah, that's really it. I had a meeting this morning. We're already getting things going for our annual sneaker ball at the Fort Worth Metropolitan Black Chamber. So I'm super excited about that. The committee met this morning. I am working diligently on the women's conference that I'm planning for the chamber in January. So I did some things with that this morning. So y'all know your girl just, you know, on her grind working. And um, yeah, I have a big announcement. I don't know exactly when I'm going to announce it, but um, yeah, like I told y'all, there's some things in the works. So I'm making a little bit of a, not shift in business, but in addition, I'm not gonna talk to, about it too much before I can actually tell y'all, cause I hate when people do that. But I just want y'all to be excited with me. It is a good thing. And this is with, um, you know, my soft skills and emotional intelligence and all that. We got some news yesterday that we have been waiting on that is really exciting. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to put this stuff away. I really need to clean my room. When I tell y'all my room is a mess, like my room's a mess and it's all my fault. I'm still not completely unpacked from Houston, y'all. I got to be honest, I'm not, and I really need to unpack, and I've run out of hangers again. I just renewed my Costco membership, so that's usually where I get my hangers because they have the black velvet ones, and they come in like a pack of 50 for like $12.99, so we'll probably go to Costco before the end of this vlog and um, get some hangers and whatever else we think we need from Costco, but... It's the clothes, it's the clothes. I just, I have so many clothes. And I love clothes, but it's, it's, it's a burden at the same time and it's embarrassing. <laughs> the amount of clothes that I have, I need to go through them again and see what I can get rid of because I'm sure, certain, positive, that there's somebody out there who can use them more than me. And I'm glad that that shopping event that I showed y'all, um, they had us bring coats or jackets to donate. And so I took either three or four. And so that felt good. And they're cute. 
And you know, most of my stuff I've only worn once or twice. But anyway, I'm rambling because just thinking about attacking my room. Ugh. So, yeah, maybe first thing Saturday morning because I was going to do it last night, but I'm the type of person because I was, had a very busy, jam-packed day, back-to-back -back stuff. So I said, okay, I'll do it in the evening. And yeah, it's just like going to the gym, whatever. When you put stuff off that you really don't want to do to the evening, it ain't going to get done. So I'm going to have to be intentional about getting up first thing Saturday morning because I don't really think I have anything going on Saturday. I don't think in the morning. So I'm just going to have to be intentional about getting up first things Saturday morning and getting my room together because it's ridiculous. And it's time to start pulling out the Christmas decorations. And I decorate my room. Like I put a whole Christmas tree in my bedroom. It, it can't go on top. Like my whole window seat where I put... That's the dog barking simply because I just got an alert on my phone. Some of my alerts are the same as the... Uh, oh, that was the home alarm this time because Wallace just came in. But... um. Yeah, I put it in my on my window seat. My window seat is packed with clothes right now. So I can't put a Christmas tree on top of that. But anyway, Wallace just got home. So I'm going to uh, let y'all go. And I'm going to go chat with him because he was just in a meeting. So chat with him and see how things went. But I will pick y'all back up tonight at the um, cohort presentation. Yeah, yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low key, y'all gas, no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gonna be, baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need, baby, won't you? Hey y'all, so I just got in the house from my cohort, I guess, graduation of sorts. I took y'all with me so y'all got to see some of our presentation and some of the ladies. It was really nice. Um, it's sad when things like that and it's been 12 weeks and I've met some amazing people through the experience and a lot of them I'll continue to work with and keep in touch with. Um, but we had a good time. We really had a good time. A lot of fun, um, some good food, good conversation. Um, a lot of things were shared and um, yeah, it was an amazing experience. It was my first time ever being a part of a cohort and um, yeah, I may do it again one day if the opportunity presents itself. And I never do like outfits y'all anymore. But this one was super cute. Just a little, y'all saw it in the footage. But yeah, just a little one too. Um, very, very, very comfortable. Now I have tons of work to do. I have a global entrepreneurship week workshop that I'm facilitating tomorrow morning. Um, I think at 1130. Let me see. I don't remember if it's at 11 or 1130. But I have a lot of work to do for that. Let's see. Tomorrow at 11. And then I have another meeting at 3.30. So that is the story of my life. Workshop, training, meeting, event. Workshop, training, meeting, event. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love it. And um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to get out of these clothes, get this makeup off my face tie up this hair some kind of way it was okay today but I had to put a little bit of heat in it today which is fine because I don't put heat in it very often at all 
Um, and I'll probably have to do the same thing again tomorrow because my um, silk press is getting old. So, you know, once your roots start getting puffy or whatever, it just doesn't quite lay right. But I figured I would jump on and say, hey, before I get to work. And um, yeah, I'll pick y'all up in the morning. Yay, 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 yay,
and it's so foggy. I don't know if I already said that, but yeah, it's really foggy and y'all are moving around. But um, we are headed to Texas Wesleyan for an entrepreneur, um, Global Entrepreneur Week event, another event. Um, I was telling y'all last night that I'm only going to speak for a couple of minutes at this event. It's not like um, a full-blown workshop for me, but our company is a vendor. And it's early, y'all. It's only 7.18, and we're actually about 18 minutes behind because I wanted to leave the house at 7 o'clock, but it was rough getting up this morning because I didn't lay down until after midnight and uh, Mr. Wallace really ain't want to get up because I was up and out of the shower and starting to get dressed by the time he got up so I thought I was going to have to be rolling alone because I don't like waking people up and I um oh these signs for food bank do you think that's what I had to do with yesterday uh, yeah because yeah. last night there was a line by the high school um close to our house where, um, I mean, the line was like a mile long, like literally, probably more than that, maybe like two or three miles long, hundreds of cars, and it was dark when I came home last night, yeah, and I didn't really see these signs, but now I see this morning um, food bank signs, because I was wondering, I was just hoping there was nothing bad going on, and I only saw like one police car, so I'm like, okay, so it can't be anything bad but it seemed like way too many cars for it to be like you know an event at the school but now I see yeah, they were lined up yeah versus... and it was all one single file line but it was like I said yeah, for a couple of miles so yeah so that makes sense and that's nice to know I hate that there are so many people in need however at this time of year it's good to know that um some people got some groceries last night yeah so yeah I was just wondering I'm like because I came in the house and asked him what's going on at the high school and he didn't know but like I said it didn't seem like it would be anything bad but it just was odd but anyway yes yeah, so we're headed over here um we got to set up a table I did remember this morning at the crack of dawn to and I didn't even tell you this but I made a sign-in sheet and I figure we can um since we don't have a product or anything to give away just give away a free like co coaching session do like a raffle or something so yeah when I go to these events I like to give something away but you know because we have a coaching and training and development company sometimes it's a little difficult like what are we going to give away so we can just give away us our services so I got a sign in sheet and then a good way to you know build your email list for when you are having specials or when you're having events um just building up that email list. I'm telling y'all, for those of you who are entrepreneurs, social media is definitely the way to go. Um, but there's still nothing like an old fashioned email list because if any of these platforms decide to go down, sh close shop, whatever, you could very easily use all, lose all of your contacts. Um, so nothing beats a good old fashioned. Oh gosh, y'all, y'all are moving all over the place. I need to get something to hold y'all in these vehicles. But nothing beats a good old fashioned email list, phone list, you know, stick to the basics. So anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go cause you're sliding all over the place, but I will pick you up at some point during the event. So good morning, y'all. I've been trying my best not to think about you, but you're stuck in my mind. I've been hypnotized by you yeah. All the suffering and pain got me feeling so blue Cause when it was us, I was never enough Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up Pushing me down instead of pulling me up So tell me what I'm supposed to do just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up yeah.
8.30 at night and I have made a run up to the Dollar Tree real quick because Lux ran out of his dog food. So y'all know that means I have to make him some and ignore my teeth. I had red wine. So um, y'all know it's been a while since I've had red wine teeth on camera but yeah red wine stains my teeth like crazy but luckily it does not last so. but yeah I just gotta grab some canned chicken and vegetables and then I wanted to check to see if they have any of the clear coffee mugs because one of mine broke and look at it was crazy I had like a half a glass of red wine but um, one of mine broke in the dishwasher and then I saw somebody say that they found them at the Dollar Tree. And mine were a little pricey, like not super expensive, but a little pricey. I ordered them on Amazon. So before I order anymore, I just wanted to check up here. So yeah, so that's where we are. All right, so they have these cute clear bowls. I think I'm gonna get two of these. They're nice and heavy and thick too and a lot of different mugs but ugh, heavy y'all but no clear clear mugs i saw like beer mugs but and then they have the stemless wine glasses the stemless martini glasses y'all i had these glasses at home and i did not get them from the dollar tree but i've had them forever too but I don't see them. See, they have these beer mugs. These are the big tall ones. And then they have the smaller ones, which could kind of be for hot cocoa or something too, maybe. But I don't like that shape. Oh, these are cute. Look at these. Ah, I'll get a couple of these. They're pretty schwank-a-dank-dank. -dank. Yeah, these are cute. Can't beat a four dollar twenty-five. But I don't see any of the regular shape mugs. Oh well, I'll check another Dollar Tree another day. Margarita. Oh, and they have these little mason jar ones, but. I don't need those because I actually have more than enough glassware, so I don't need to be picking up stuff. I don't need, and I hate saying need because I don't need any of it, but definitely not like extra, extra stuff. <laughs> All right, let's pick up the stuff for Lux. Okay, I just made it home, and I got y'all sitting really crazy. You can probably feel it rocking like a ship, but um, I want to do this quick little Dollar Tree haul because y'all know I was just going to get stuff to make the dog food and then I was kind of looking to see if maybe they might have had the mugs and then I kept looking at stuff. So I ended up spending like $40 at the Dollar Tree. I don't know how you do that, but I did. Y'all, these sponges, 
bath sponges, my absolute favorite. They sell them at, oh my gosh, look at my lips. That's embarrassing. I don't know why that happens to me. But they sell them at Big Lots and the Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree, of course, they're $1.25. Big Lots, they're like $1.69. But these sponges are unbelievable. Suds up, well, great. Got three of these. Then they had these cute little hand soaps for the holidays. The Gingerbread Man, Snowman, so I'm gonna use this for my kitchen and my little powder room down here. But I thought they were so, so cute and festive. They had a Christmas tree and a Santa Claus, but I didn't wanna overdo it because I'm like, there's no need in putting it in our bathroom and stuff like that. Then I got for the dog, chunk white chicken with gravy, white chicken, white chicken, and then a dark meat chicken. And then I'll mix with that some sliced carrots and some cut green beans. And he'll just eat this for like a day, day and a half until his food gets here because his food's being processed now and they ship it overnight. Then I got some of this window cleaner with vinegar. We've been using, like my grandmother and mother used to clean glass with white vinegar. I think I've shared that with y'all before. And Windex has a white vinegar one. And so I just wanted to try the Dollar Tree version just to see if it works, because it's only a dollar. And then some Comet all-purpose cleaner with bleach. Then I got some beef broth that I will use when I'm making Lux's little food. And let's see, I already showed y'all the bowls and the mugs. Yeah, she wrapped them up, she did good. Because sometimes they just throw your stuff in there like, look, you only paid a dollar for it. So I got two of these bowls. These are really, I don't know if y'all can tell how thick they are, but I'm excited about those. So I got two of those and then two of the little, and look how she wrapped them like in three bags. I like that. These are really thick too. Y'all see that edge? It's thick. Cute, cute, cute. So I got two of those. And then I just got a gift bag because our granddaughter, one of our granddaughters, has a birthday coming up. So a little gift bag for her. And then I got a birthday card for her as well. And it's by Mahogany, of course. And so y'all see the little, like, African print on the card. Got that. And then I got Wallace, some Butterfingers. And I also got Wallace a couple of cards, but I'm not going to show y'all because he just closed a major deal today, y'all. I think I told y'all he was waiting on a phone call. Well, he got the phone call. So I got him that in a card, and then, you know, I got a surprise. I made some dinner reservations, so y'all be going out to dinner. But I don't know if he's listening. So I'm taking him out to dinner to one of our faves on Saturday night. Then I got these Pond's makeup remover wipes for $1.25 just to try them, because Pawns is a pretty trusted name. You get 10 for a dollar, so I figured it was worth trying. Um, they're made with aloe vera extract. And then one of my guilty pleasures, these Jumbo Smarties. Y'all see, I hate when it doesn't focus, but yeah. I love these things. So that was it from the Dollar Tree. But I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here because I have literally been making this vlog since last week. So I'm gonna end it here, but I'll probably pick y'all back up in the morning. I have a site visit um, to the venue where I'm gonna be having my women's conference. So I'll see if I take y'all along. If not, I'll pick you up sometime again this weekend. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And oh yeah, today's event. You saw the clips from that. It was amazing, awesome turnout. Um, got to talk to a lot of people, got a lot of people to subscribe to the email list. So it was great. So shout out to my girl Monique and Chase Bank and Texas Westland. Top tier event for Global Entrepreneur Week. So it has been a phenomenal Global Entrepreneur Week. I don't have anything else that I'm participating in. Um, I don't have any Global Entrepreneur Week events tomorrow or whatever. But yeah, to Darlisa everyone involved in it, um, Marco, just everyone. It was 
a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Global Entrepreneur Week. And I was just honored and blessed to be a part of it and be able to just do my little piece into pouring into others and helping to elevate others to reach their goals and the level of success that they desire and deserve. So with that being said, definitely going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and putting up with all of my shenanigans and running around like a crazy woman. I appreciate you more than you ever would know. I love you guys to bits and pieces. And if you are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in and please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a permanent part of the life for tribe. And so until next time, guys, you know the drill. Love one another, always be kind, but don't forget to live your life, L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first explicitly. And I'll see you on the next one. And I need to go brush my teeth. <laughs>